Hey, this is John Young here with the Hometown News. We're coming to you live out there on Facebook. And of course, if you don't get to see the full video there, we should have it up on YouTube later today uh, with our second camera. So we're in Uppsala today. It's, it is Heritage Day here in Uppsala. Where this is August 13th, 2022. Uh, had the 5K this morning at 8 a.m. and now 11 a.m. we've got the parade that's starting just behind me. They're coming on down Main Street. And then after this, we're going to be headed over to the park because there's going to be things going on throughout the day today. But after, everything starts at the park at noon. But first, we've got the parade to uh, kind of catch here for the next about 50 minutes or so. So let's, well, let's watch. All right, you've got some folks jumping on Facebook there. Thank you for joining us. You're seeing some jackets in the uh, and, and sweatshirts around today. It's a little little cooler than uh, than sometimes. It's a beautiful day for the 5K. We were, the family was involved with that this morning, and we so we were running literally down this street. We started uh, just a little a little up there towards the hardware store, and whistled around the. Around, around to the uh, east a little bit and back to the school. But it was a beautiful morning to get out there and run a little bit here with the kicking off the, the big festival here today. So the theme for this year's Heritage Day Festival is back, back through the years. So there's quite a few that will kind of adapt their float to match the theme. So it'd be kind of fun to see how they're doing, going to do that. You're seeing coming onto the camera right now, the, the American Legion, bringing the colors through. Members of the Uppsala Post of the American Legion bringing the colors through. And of course, then they're really quiet for Sean. Uh, there's Morrison County Sheriff coming through. It's everyone's so somber when Sean walks through now. <laughs> you got a little more gap. Morrison County Sheriff car coming onto the screen there for you guys. So we're getting towards the end of our parade season here in central Minnesota. This is one of the last, last events. We'll have, uh, uh, Bertram will have their little, their little heritage day coming up here in about two weekends. And then after that, it is, uh, I suppose, Pioneer, Pioneer Days in uh, Albany. We'll kind of wrap up the end of, uh, end of our season. The Epsilon Fire Department is starting to come onto the screen with their their trucks. They were involved, of course, this morning, making sure all the runners were safe as we were going around the neighborhood. <laughs> Nothing like a water on a cold, cool day. It's 61 degrees out, for those of you wondering. So that uh, that blast of water from the truck is not going to feel very nice today. Turn it just a little bit more here so you get a, a better view. <laughs> Fireman's raffle coming up September 10th. <laughs> Yeah, I'm free, so 
you gonna be here all day or what's that? You gonna be around for a while or? Oh, and there's a 1928 water truck back there. When he gets back then, it was a full truck. It was uh, the tank and everything in that one. First response vehicle coming through next. Next, to get the holding Ford fire department <laughs> bringing in one of their newer trucks. I'm guessing. Oh, that's an old. That's an old one there. There's one of their newer trucks. Oh, the kids are still lining up down the street for the water blast. <laughs> Hopefully the water's been in the tank for a while. Bolas Fire Department coming onto the screen next. They say their big their big weekend here a few weeks back. You're watching the Heritage Day Parade here in Uppsala, August 13th, 2022, if you're watching it later. Once the parade is over, then everybody heads over to the park. There's food and kids' activities and games and vendors are out there. There's going to be different contests. There's a whole, whole uh, page of activities that uh, are going to be going on today. And that is the, I'm gonna turn it so, a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so. That's a brave mother, aunt, sister, whoever she was taking someone out to taking it for the team. That's truly a taking it for the team on a cool day like today. Camp Ripley Fire and Emergency Vehicle there. It's amazing how much water that thing leaks. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of them. A couple of crazy boys getting in there for the next round. So the Grand Marshal is the Cardinals, the Cardinals softball team who went to state this spring. They are acting as a Grand Marshal and out here throwing out. with Raleigh Johnson there throwing out candy. Raleigh Johnson is the mayor. today. That's what you're seeing come through next on the screen. That is their little booth there for the axe throwing. 
That, uh, that little piece of that wood right there that pivots around and you come in the back and throw your hatchet, well their hatchets, and after a while they'll go and soak the wood down so it swells and off you go. Borgstrom House is open today, by the way, from noon until 4. It's uh, just down to the north of me just a little bit. That is the local museum with a lot of old antiques from from the house itself and from the area here. There's a lot of a lot of neat old stuff in there to check out. Lone Eagle Auto Club vehicles are the ones rolling through right now. We may be overcast, we may be cool, but we're not raining, so they can make it out today. Couple, couple of parades they've been able to get to this summer, but there were a few that were just kind of dicey with the rain, so some of the members, of course, don't want to get their cars all, all wet. Oh, John Isaac right there in front of us. Hey Wolfgang coming to us from Germany watching. Thank you for <laughs> jumping on. We are broadcasting uh, on Facebook right now. Looks like we've got quite a few watching. And if for some reason the, the video does stop because of copyright infringement issues, whatever, we're, gonna, we're recording this and we'll be putting the recording up on, on the uh, YouTube channel, the Hometown News YouTube channel. You're catching the Lone Eagle Auto Club cars rolling on through today. Kids are holding their bags up and encouraging them to throw it right in. Vehicles coming from the auto club. Like. <laughs> that gets the kids to uh, step back. doesn't squeal when there's wet when the road's wet. The tires will turn when they spin or turn over, but they will not squeal. And there is an old an old practical vehicle. Turn you a little bit so you can see what's coming. There seems to be a little bit of a wall here. As the word of life is coming through. Word of life shirt. Got their little little train coming on through.
Upsilla Chiropractic coming through next. Steve Johnson is driving. Or excuse me, no. No, not Steve. Doc Johnson is driving. I gotta go grab that. Grab me! Oh, she's got it. Okay. Another old vehicles coming through. Remax Realty coming through next. The Remax hot air balloon team, so that's what you're seeing blasting up with the... Yeah. Yeah. So we're 50 feet away and you can... You can, you can feel the heat out there. That's pretty impressive. Nelson Insurance coming through. Jeff is driving right there. Freeler Farms, Freeler's Tree Farm coming through next. Langs, Langs coming through. The Centimeter Lutheran Church. Virtual Lions coming through. County Dairy Princesses are coming onto the screen next. Are the young ladies coming there. Next, we've got Isaac Schultz right there, who just won his primary, so now he will be in the general election, running for a seat in Minnesota House of Representatives. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who turned out in the Republican primary. It's all about our community and our values. Have a great Upsala Heritage Days. There's Isaac right there, so you get to hear it from the man himself. And there is, there is Dad. And the whole family there. With, of course, this is gonna be licensed music, so this is probably going to kill the video. There we go. And hopefully I can, I'm going to just continue to talk right over top of the, the 
the music in hopes that we don't have the video get cut because of hearing some licensed music in the background. So we're just going to keep on talking right over top of it because the village people would be getting their, their record label involved with shutting off our video. And I know it sounds really petty, but hey, that is the world of online streaming. And it can be on YouTube or Facebook, and they will block the video when it's live streaming. So we're going to just keep on talking until that music is gone, because if I don't, it will be shut down. Hey, and there's Isaac's mom coming across the screen right there, from going to the left. The folks are out there helping him on his, his float today. That's kind of cool to see the family family uh, activity. Michael's trucking coming through next here as part of the Heritage Day Parade here in Uppsala. Right. So, so far so good. I see the video still up. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. <laughs> the can, the can cruises. Birdgraph next. Birdgraph text going through. There. Now we got a little bit of a lull here. We got a couple of a little bit down farther. We'll just move a little bit so you can see that. More. Coming up. So once we're all done at noon, things kick off at the park. There's going to be food booths. There's going to be some vendors out there. There's going to be different kids games and face painting and different things. We've got that full list actually. You can find that out on our hometown, out on the Facebook page. Lori put the ad up earlier today or last night actually. So let's see. Let's see. So at noon, there's a cakewalk that's going to be going on. We already did the 5K. There's the party in the city park with the food booths, beer garden, axe throwing. We saw that. Petting zoo. There's a beanbag tournament going on. A pie baking contest. Uh, there will be some music down there. There's a pedal pull, water fights. So a lot of stuff going on down there. Rippling or plumbing just went by. Was I'm busy talking. You guys got to see him, and I didn't. All sorts of things going on in the park here in about uh, about a half hour, I guess, when things will kind of kick off. Paul and Kathy's coming onto the screen right there. Paul's driving for us today to get to see the man himself. Old John Deere. Some old John Deere's. You got a string of them coming up here. I'm not going to move the camera. That way you get a better view of day as they come by. The old Johnny Hopper there. Sunday brunch at the community center. There you go. I was trying to read the sign. A little tough to read. Oh, three bottom plow.
pivot a little bit here. This is a little delay. And then this evening, this evening there's going to be live entertainment going on. Fireworks will be going on at 10 o'clock tonight. And let's see, the band that's playing tonight is The Unwanted. is coming up next their old truck there and for those of you keeping track it is still 61 degrees out here and those kids who got wet earlier with that uh, Port Ripley vehicle are probably still still cold there we go they, they got into their they kind of dressed up there, going back to going back to the 60s there. The Holding Ford swim team is coming through next. Breathing is for the weak, yeah. <laughs> I think Madison wanted to. I think that was a plan. <laughs> um, but that's a holding board swim team. Uh, Upsala pairs with holding forward in the fall with swim and with uh, cross country. And of course they are with Swanville in football. Volleyball is uh, right here yet. Little tractor pull going on here today. There's Next, we have the Knights of Columbus right there. They're float looking on through. Community Covenant Church coming through. Tech, the local phone and internet right there. They have been bringing fiber optic to so many in the rural area here. The Albany Area Community Band is coming through next. Also doing village people music. Maybe there's a theme today. Upsala Lions coming through next. Can A there on the, the four wheeler. Bill Krevnik there. Two, two long time community members there, active community members. We're getting to the school, so you're seeing a lot of a lot of staff members there walking. And coming on this side of the float, we've got uh, the superintendent Vern Capel there. Uh, 
more of this now. I'm old and forget things. <laughs> you heard it right there, Jonathan Leiter saying he is old and forgets things. <laughs> if I had the fire teacher at Uppsala School. MCCL coming through. You're watching the Uppsala Heritage Day Parade here today. Signage is important. You can't assume that people are going to remember. Signage is important in the front. There you go, we can see the Woolar equipment right there. We got a few people dressed up for this one. Centrisota should be coming out of the screens. There we go. So we're getting into some old tractors. Take a look at that string of red if you can see it in the cameras. It's like from, from here all the way, goodness gracious, all the way down the hill.
full collection of Massey Harris tractors here. Little. Oh, the sign is. Well, one of them was recently painted. These are restored by Donald Herzog, yeah. A lot of family. A lot of family driving the tractors there. Wait a collection. You catching the Upsala Heritage Day parade here this morning? Started about 35 minutes ago, roughly. If you missed any of it, it will be staying on Facebook. Otherwise, unless there's music that cancels it, otherwise it will be uploaded to to face or to YouTube later on the Hometown News YouTube channel. So FFA rolling through. Whoops. <laughs> it's, it's leaking its way back onto the streets. No case there going off the screen. Some caramel coming in next. Sun is starting to peak out a little bit. Kind of lightening up here just a little bit today. Daryl Larson of Royalton is behind those international. There's Alan Rearing there from the Bertram. Bertram Heritage Days. It's coming up here at the end of August. Just outside of Bertram there to the northwest. And there's their drawing. Fifty fifty winner there. Well by watching the boys throw from the sidelines, they probably need to work on their route. That must mean we're getting to getting close to the end of the end of the trip.
Camel and an old square baler right there. Josiah Brown from Gray Eagle driving that one. Pickup coming through next. Nineteen sixty seven. <laughs> the Borgstrom House, of course, will be going on to having having uh, having their things today going on, which is just up the street. So, hey, we're going to wrap here. I've got we've got one last uh, the the oxen are coming next, and I wanted to kind of do this before before they get here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching out on Facebook or YouTube, if um, if you can't see it on Facebook or didn't see part of it, and you want to catch it, and it's, for some reason gets knocked down, it will be up on YouTube, and YouTube will uh, just edit any music out for us. It's kind of how that works. So, again, as John Young, Hometown News. Thank you guys for watching. Come on out if you're in the area and check out the fun. It's going to be going on all day, starting in a few minutes. Well, at noon, about 10 minutes out at the city park, just that way a little bit, and then it'll be going on with the band tonight. Thanks so much.